Okay, Delusion Dispeller back. Alright. Now we're going to talk about healthy companions. If you want to have a healthy relationship and be a healthy companion or have healthy companions, you need to learn follow through. That's another type of boundary. When you say you're going to do something, you need to follow through with it. Such as, if you hit me, I will tell my mother, I will tell a friend, I will tell the police. It's not okay for you to wound me. It's not okay for you to abuse me. It's not okay for you to raise your voice and scream at me all the time. It's just not okay. Again, that can be a verbal boundary too. But the point is, if you say, if you hit me again, I will tell my brother and he will come over here and make sure he calls the police and will take me out of this house. You need to follow through with that. You can't just threaten something you're not going to follow through with. Now, I'll give you a um, kind of a heads up. In my first marriage, I used to threaten a lot to leave, an awful lot. I would threaten to call the police, but I always called the police when I would threaten it. But when I threatened to leave, even if I did leave, I always went back to him. Sorry about that. Be sure when you threaten something like that, you are prepared to follow through with it. Don't say, if you hit me, I'm going to leave, and then stay there. Because what that tells the abuser is you can do anything to me that you want, and I'll just put up with it. And you can just keep pushing me before I finally break. You don't want to tell them that message. You want to follow through. So have a plan A, plan B, plan C, however many plans you need, enforced, in, in line up, lined up, however you want to say it, before you go through with saying, I'm going to do this if you do that. Make sure you're ready to do it, and do it. Please do it. Okay. Also, listen to your inner self. Listen to your hunches, if you want to call it that, or your conscience, or... Whatever it is that you have inside of you that gives you those little sirens or red flags that go off. Make sure you listen to that. Make sure you're ready to catch those little innuendos or those little digs that he or she throws at you. And confront if it's safe to do so. If it's not, make a mental note of it or write it down if you have to. Okay. Some other... Um, <clears throat> things you need to know, just in general, is that you need to set healthy limits in your relationships. There has to be limits that you have a line that's a deal breaker if they cross it, and then when they cross it, you might give them one more chance depending on how severe the penalty or the thing is that they did, and then you decide on a penalty afterwards. Or, if it's something that's really crucial, like physical abuse, verbal abuse, um, threats, violence, anything like that, then there is no second chance. It's just, you got to protect yourself and get out of that situation. But you need to have limits in any relationship. For instance, many people don't like people staring at them in the restroom. So your limit is, I shut the door when I go to the restroom. I don't like you staring at me. It makes me uncomfortable. Another limit might be um, at a certain time, this is what I do. I like to read a book. This is my time. I'd appreciate it if you find something else to do during that time. It could be a limit you set for your children. It could be a limit you set for your boyfriend, your girlfriend. And if they can't respect those limits and your boundaries, then you really need to rethink that relationship seriously. Also, have healthy responsibilities. Don't you foot the bill for every date if you're dating. Take turns. You know, you paid for it last time, I'll pay for it this time. Or, if you can't pay for it, then agree to kind of become partners in a different way. Maybe you don't have a monetary way to pay. But something as simple as, you rub my feet today, I'll rub your feet tomorrow. You rub my back tonight, I'll rub your back tomorrow. Whatever. You have to have balance. It's so important. That's one thing I have in my current relationship that I didn't have in my past relationship. Okay. The other thing is, the person needs to respect your personal preferences and your decisions. So, suppose 
you don't like a certain food. If that person sits there and says, well, I bought it, so you're going to eat it. Red flag. Just, you know, let the sirens go off and be listening to them. That's not okay. You're allowed to eat what you want. That might come as news to somebody here, and I don't mean that in a sarcastic way, but I'm serious. Perhaps as a child, you weren't allowed to pick the foods that you liked to eat. Your parents told you what you liked. Oh, of course you like spinach. Everybody likes spinach. You know, what's the matter with you? You should eat your green beans. Green beans are healthy for you. Those kind of statements, although everybody thinks, oh, that's just how parents raise their kids. No, that's not proper. You allow that child to make decisions. You don't just take over and tell them what they like. Uh-uh. Because someday that child's going to be an adult, and they won't know what they like because you made all their decisions for them. So I may be talking to an adult here that did that to their kids. It's not cool. Not cool at all. It doesn't prepare them to make their own guided choices as they get older. And then somebody else is going to come along and tell them what they like. And they're going to believe it just because they're so used to you as the parent telling them that. So take off the uh, apron strings. You know, especially with an older person or like a young adult or a teenager, they have every right and need to make their own choices and have their preferences. Same thing with personal decisions. I know some people that are making decisions about their lifestyle right now that I don't agree with. I know some people that have chosen a homosexual lifestyle. I know some other people that have chosen to have children out of wedlock. Um... I know some other people that have been involved in relationships that would be considered wrong by some people. Um, that's their personal decision. That's not mine to say. Now, if they ask my advice, I'll give it. And it might not be their choice of what to do just because I say that this is what I would do or this is what I might suggest you could do. It's okay. They can have a differing decision. It's their life, not my life, to live. And you have to do the same thing. You have to be strong enough to say, this is my choice, and it's okay for me to make my choice, even though it might not be your choice. Stay tuned. I will talk more about some of the rights that you have as a human being. Stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.